Hey, this is Christian Buckley at the M365 conference in Las Vegas, and I'm here with Kathy Dew. Hello. Hi. So, Kathy, who are you? I mean, who are you really? Well, the I existential mean, who yes. are we? I'll go with the who I am now and here. Okay. Right. Uh, so I'm Kathy Dew, and I'm a senior product manager on the OneDrive and SharePoint team, and I'm also uh, the founder of Women in SharePoint. I, no, I have to say, so so having just, I just saw you two weeks ago, we were at MVP Summit, and one of the hardest things as an MVP is, like coming to this, is like, we heard about a lot of things. A lot of things which were announced this week, and a lot of things that are not yet announced. And sometimes there are things which we heard about, and we were told that weren't gonna be announced, that then are announced, and things that we were told were probably gonna be announced, that then weren't, and were not announced. That makes it very confusing <laughs> of what I could actually talk about things. Um, so, um, what's new in portals? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that there's a lot of exciting things that were talked about this week, um, several of them that I'm involved in. Uh, and I think the biggest one of that that people saw this week is the brand center and the UX vision of SharePoint. Um, and so we're really excited about this. We've been working on it for a while and trying to come up with the right plan and the right level to bring back some customization into to SharePoint. Um, and that will, of course, play into portals and, and everywhere else well, that you have them. I do like that the uh, the whole uh, idea of back in 2016 with the the micro the, the big SharePoint event in San Francisco. I was lucky enough to be one of the MVPs invited down to to be part of that in person. Um, was about it was all about like making SharePoint beautiful. And I think it was Jeff Teeper. I can't remember somebody at MVP Summit said is that this is all about making Share SharePoint even more beautiful. You know, is that is that count internally? Was that the exact phrasing that was used? I kind of look at it as we're releasing a new makeup line. So we're doing a oh. brand new like makeup launch for SharePoint. So, Sponsored I mean, by Maybelline. It, yeah. It's beautiful today and you yeah. can build really beautiful things. You can use templates. You can use some of the great things that are provided today, the lookbook, to find some of those beautiful things. But this is just going to like add on and make it even better. So it's like... You had eyeshadow before, now we're giving you glittery eyeshadow. Well, some of the things out there are, are really important. And I know that there are a lot of organizations that had a difficult time with SharePoint and even a more difficult time moving to SharePoint online um, because they seem to have, it was more of a, of a framework. It was more you're locked into the certain structure and so that look in the field, the design is part of the persona of a number of brands that are out there. And something I was telling my wife, uh, you know, not that she cares about any of the technology or, or my job or my hobbies or anything like that, but I was talking to her about some of the changes and I said, oh, something she would appreciate as a, as a, uh, a history, uh, design history major. Um, was the topography, you know, that some of that capability, I mean, which is a big deal. It is. And that we've only been asking for, for like 15 plus years or whatever. You we know. may have stopped counting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, as somebody with that design background, so I have a design degree, I worked in advertising and then stumbled into SharePoint and never looked back. Um, you know, we're really, part of the reason why it's taken a while is we want to make sure that we're implementing it in the right way, putting the right level of control. You know, when we went to SharePoint Online with that event that you talked about, which coincidentally May the 4th, which might happen to be tomorrow, yeah. there's a May the 4th trend around some of yeah. these. Yeah. Um, Jeff really likes May the 4th. Yep. Um, and so there's a little bit here of where we wanted to kind of do that evaluation and spend the time really talking to people to understand what they truly need because in the online world it's just even more complicated and you want to make sure you know there's that rule of like first do no harm and so how do we put, give these great customizations in place but also do no harm like make sure your existing still works make sure that when you're implementing it you don't wind up with your entire intranet using winged dings. Yep. Um, you but, know, and how do we put those in place? For, for those that aren't familiar with like what happened around wing dings, I mean, so I've, <laughs> I've seen this, I remember back in the day of this, and so you change the font to wing dings and suddenly you can't read your menus. Anything. You can't then go and reverse it. Right. Very much so. And so yeah. we've we've spent a lot of time planning and thinking about this. And I've I've encountered my fair share of classic wing dings set sites because yeah. it was you had your own server. So you could put whatever font you wanted. And so it was this great 
power, um, kind of like Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. And yeah. so it's, it's really where we're kind of drawing the line and, and building on it. And how do we enhance portals and intranets and make them even better? You know, it is interesting where SharePoint has went from being, you know, initially, you know, document collaboration into like the portal solution, true portal solution, um, into people. I remember somebody say like building a CRM on SharePoint, like custom, like why, why would you do that? Can you? Y yeah, yeah, you can. Should you? No, you should not. Um, and then going and building everything. And it was where it was touted as this Swiss army knife of everything. And I remember talking with Jeff Tieper actually after he came back to this role, back to the SharePoint world. And now, of course, he's the president of everything collaborative at, at Microsoft. Uh, but where he came back where he, he said, we want to get away from that idea of SharePoint as a Swiss Army knife. Like it is its core capabilities, document collaboration, team collaboration, portal, intranet solution. Uh, and, and yet the, you know, the focus on making it more beautiful, making it more you know, consistent with the rest of the design, the styling around brands, I think you know, people are gonna absolutely love the new cap capabilities. Plus there's just a bunch of refinements. A I don't lot. even call it new features, just refinements of what's already there, a softening of the edges um, to make the you know, uh, navigation easier. So uh, you know, anything else that kind of jumps out that are like favorites that people should look for? Um, I think there's a lot of great things happening in the pages space. And so for pages and news um, that you heard about this week, that that team is working really hard on to make creating content even easier. So not just beautiful, but even easier. And so really enhancing those experiences to make it so that the things that we produce as a part of SharePoint are easy to use, simple to use, they look great. You don't have to get a degree in SharePoint to create and use SharePoint anymore. What about my advanced SharePoint degree though? Is mm -hmm. it no longer is it's, useful or? I think it's entirely <laughs> still useful, okay. but you're gonna have to get that um, little well, the, you know, continuing learning credit. Of course, yeah. yeah. Well, going to night school, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. Well, I do like to ask, especially Microsoft people, this because like with all the announcements and things that are out there, besides the stuff that you own that you're directly associated with, what are you most excited about that the things that have been announced? There's a lot of cool things. There's a lot of really cool things. Um, so I think for me, there's two things mm. that I really love that have been announced. Um, so the simplified sharing that the OneDrive and Files mm -hmm. teams have been working on to make sharing easier and consistent across the suite is just phenomenal. Um, and then the thing that I have been lucky enough to be um, testing and using, um, a lot of the co-pilot in Teams features uh, just, uh, changing my life. Getting uh, people are very excited to get their hands on that. So I know I'm not sure even which components. I mean, the GitHub that's been out there for a long time. There's different pieces, some things that are in private preview, um, and and so I know it's one of those things everybody's talking about, wanting to see more and more. And uh, yeah, I, I think just like Rajesh said, it's it's a game changer. It's you know on the level of the introduction of the internet and the introduction of mobile phones yeah. um, as a game changer for how we're gonna work and how people are gonna interact with things. And I, I can't wait to see where it goes. Yeah. Well, Kathy, really appreciate your time and coming and talk to us. And again, congratulations on so helping start the uh, the women in SharePoint you know, back in the day. And, oh, we're so happy to yeah. still be uh, leading some DNI efforts and, and continuing to grow and expand uh, support systems for women in tech as well as for allies, because we have some fantastic allies in this community. I think there's, there's something going on tomorrow around that specifically, or did that happen today? It was today. Okay. Yeah. Well, I We was... did our 15 years of women in SharePoint and five years of women in Teams celebration today. Congratulations. And I'm, uh, yeah, I was, uh, of course, chained to the booth, so yeah. <laughs> as as happens it's so. great we got to hear a lot of great stories from people about what community means to them and how they got into technology and challenges that they faced and um give each other some you know advice things that you should do and to help with career and just to keep life sane excellent well thanks so much for your time thank you thanks for watching